What's cracking, guys? How you all doing? Thank you for joining me yet again here this Monday. Huge thank you to everybody who's happened to be new joining in here on Monday. The last recap actually got one of the most views, um, one of the highest view, maybe top three, top four highest views of a recap. So really cool. Obviously, you guys are very interested here in the V8 uh, K-Series motor that is in the works over at Neutron Engines. We can get in a little bit more about that too. And then, you know, but after this. What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. We hang out here Monday nights, talk Hondas, talk what's going over a little bit on the community side, hang out, do some questions, some Q&A action. So if this is your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 6 p.m. when this airs West Coast time. What's up to everybody in Premiere? How are you all doing? Welcome back for another week. Just a quick shout out. Head, head over to hondavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a shirt, hoodie, or sticker, or anything else you guys would like to enjoy and to support the channel. I appreciate all of you who have already. It really means a lot to me. Thank you already. So, guys, how are you all doing? How's everybody doing right now? How did you spend your weekend? Uh, today is a holiday, so hopefully you guys got that off. If you didn't, props to you. It's always good to work on a holiday because you know what? We work out here. And that's how you make money. You work. It's just, it's just how it is. But if you were lucky enough to have today off, did you do anything productive? Did you hang out with the family? Just do anything like that? What did you do this weekend? New car parts? Did you guys go out there working? Let me know right now what you guys did this weekend. Did you make it productive? Was it not? It's totally cool if it's not. It's been a fun week for me. Got a lot of stuff done personally. Getting all things set up. Just having fun. You know, getting to like the home situation. Trying to figure out with a moving situation. You got a lot of stuff going on, guys. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about this motor. I was actually able to have a conversation with Neutron Engines. And I've told you guys for a while now that I've wanted to bring back some separate content, which was the podcast. So I'm happy to say we're actually going to be able to meet up, have a conversation. I believe you might be the first guest on the new podcast. I'll talk about that a little bit later when we get back closer to it. But in the near future, I want to sit down with this guy, have a little bit of conversation back and forth. You know what I mean? I've got some questions for him and I'm sure you guys too. So like I said, we kind of went over some of the things and he kind of hit me up at the same time. He's like, hey man, if you want to get together, have a conversation. I could probably answer some of the questions you had, but I also want to throw that out to you guys as well. I know a lot of you guys were very interested. You hit me up personally. You're really enjoying this thing. You really know that it's going to be something cool. Like I said, I don't want to keep talking about it, but this is unexpected, right? 2021, what could possibly be happening here in the community? And this is one of those things that I think could be mon monumental for the progress within Honda's adapting Hondas with other engines and creating new engines. It's a big thing, right? That's like, that's one of the big things that we'll put in an engine in another chassis. We kind of moved that forward, but without kind of rambling on that, even though I like doing that, um, what would you guys be interested in hearing? You know, if you guys have questions you would like to throw out there to get answered in the podcast, definitely let me know. Put those in the comments below. I'm going to be getting together, having a conversation, like I said, podcast style, get to know the guy behind the engine. I have questions I would personally like to ask, but if there's things you guys would like to ask about maybe him or, or the company or him himself as the company or the engine, obviously, you know, um, definitely put, definitely put them in the comments below and I'll go through them, see what we can actually, you know, get some answers for, because I'm very excited to actually have this conversation with him. That said, some of the interesting stuff that we can kind of talk about right now is also since then he's been putting up some different information about connecting rods, rotating assemblies and things that, you know, that you wouldn't really think about when you're going to do this. Everything matters, right? You got to figure this thing out. So it's not so much as throwing heads on top and just seeing how much power we can make. There's a lot of thought that goes through this. As many of you know, I worked at a shop a long time ago, and one of the things that we used to do was have to figure out how we can most effectively get, you know, the largest rotor and the best caliper or a specific caliper and the largest rotor we can get for that specific chassis, but you can't just throw that on the car. There's a lot of stuff behind that, right? Braking force, bias front to rear, and there's a lot of things you have to think about. So when you think about things like how do I build an engine, it's not just like, oh, okay, 
slap the heads on connecting rods you know like i don't really know too much about what's going on behind this and that is part of getting together having in that conversation so like i said guys definitely go into the comments down below throw in some questions that you would like to ask throughout the podcast i'll try to sprinkle those in maybe we can get some answers kind of learn about this a little bit together and move forward from there all right, so for this week, I wanted to ask you, what do you like about other people's cars like out there right now? Who has something that you're striving for right now in the car community, whether it be whatever stance you're in, whatever kind of car you're in, track, bag, static, whatever it is. I, I really honestly, I enjoy all these vehicles. I really honestly enjoy all of these vehicles. Why? I don't know. I just, I really love the creativity and some people I feel are stretching it, but you know what? We need that. We need to go out on these weird tangents and then we need to like reel them back in, but we get something out of it, you know, whether it's a random forum thread or just, I don't know, we, we need, we need something, right? So who to you personally right now in the community, who do you know on Instagram or YouTube that's doing something with their car that you really admire and that you really think is going to push it? You know what I mean? And uh, maybe not push it, that might be something broad, but it's something pushing you to kind of focus towards, you know, like I really want to do that. You know what I mean? Because I see a lot of things to myself. And as I said, you know, I'm trying to move and get my area. And I really, really, really um, have been enjoying the hell out of Young Static's uh, content lately, especially with the CRX that he has and uh, the really awesome plans he has for the CRX. And what he's been doing with it, you know, all the body work, the paint, he pulled the engine, he's doing all this stuff to it. And it's all stuff that I want to do to my car, but never had the place to do it. And uh, really early on when I lived at my parents, we lived on a ranch and I definitely had like the time and space to do it. I just didn't have the headspace. I was too focused on other things. And when I really got ingrained in, in cars and, and what I wanted to do with them outside of just driving... Uh, I wasn't there anymore. You know, I lived in San Francisco for a while. I lived in the peninsula for a while. And I just, I never had the ability to really get down and, and tinker, you know? And when I was younger, I had that time. I had that ability. I had that space. And then as I get older, I'm, I'm in this like weird area where like, I can't just take my car down, you know? And so because of that, I feel like that kind of holds some people back. But I really admire the fact that, that Static is doing exactly what I want to do when I have this space. You know, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to take the whole car apart. I want to clean it before I put things back in. If I, um, you know, save up a little bit more money and I'm cleaning up the front end, why not just put in new hubs? Why not do the wheel bearings, you know? Just little things like that. And I feel like up until recently, I've just been, you know, I go about 75% and I can't get to that last little bit because I need my car or, or I need to be able to not leave my car just abandoned. You know what I mean? So I've been really admiring this guy's hustle and it's always there. And you guys know it's always there when YouTube gives him his 100K play button, which shout out to you, Static. That's just, it's so well-deserved. It's so well-deserved, man, because this guy has been putting content out um, at least five to seven days a week for a hot minute. Now he's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is deserved. The man should have the weekends off, but it's only weekends off of recording or only weekends off of editing. The man's still out there recording and, and making stuff because he, does, he doesn't know how to sit idle, right? So it, it's really well-deserved that he finally got his play button. But with that, he shows me all the stuff that I want to be doing and it keeps me motivated, right? So I looked at Young Static a lot of things that I want to do. And um, I think in the future, I'm definitely going to head that way. And especially because I have like that secret love with the EF chassis. Uh, I can't let that go. And, and the Del Sol, man, the Del Sol has just always been that car that like I've taken it apart a kajillion times and I've putting it back together. And I feel like its vision is lost just because like that is going to be the supreme. When I ever feel like the Del Sol is actually like at a point where I'm like, that's it for me. It's going to be crazy, right? But like, I follow a lot of people on Instagram and I watch a lot of YouTube content, as you guys know. Um, and I know you guys too. I know you guys do. So I also wanted to ask you guys, who out there to you is pushing the limit for you personally? Who's doing stuff? And if it's in magazines or, or YouTube, Instagram, random articles, wherever. Because I know when you guys sent stuff in to where you guys are watching your automotive content, I really enjoyed that. Because it kind of sent me around to different places to kind of look at like where, where are people like ingesting all of this stuff, right? So wherever it is, whoever's got it, hot rods, trucks, lifted trucks, slam trucks, whatever you're into, I enjoy and I want to hear about it. So who's out there 
specifically doing something that's really motivating you to work on your car or to maybe implement some of those things into your vehicle. And on top of that, more specifically, if they're out there doing that stuff, who's motivating you to do things to your car, you know, to, to set the bar, you know what I mean? Like that's, I don't want to keep saying it, but like who's out there building the bar for you where you're like, that's where I want to be. I want to be at least to there. And, and how am I going to be there? You know, how am I going to get there? That's what I want to know. And that's why I gave a shout out or always give a shout out. Obviously it's static, you know, what's up Dana, but you know, Obviously, it's static, right? Dana, young static. But like his knowledge and how much effort he puts into every single one of his vehicles. It's insane. It's insane. And uh, I, I strive to get there one day. And I think it's all possible for all of us. And he says it all the time. You could definitely do it. Progress is better than no progress. And I've been on team no progress for a hot minute. And I'm willing to say it to myself because it's true. And I think it's just time that that has to actually change. You know, and I feel like that actually has to... Uh, uh, you know, we got we to gotta get over that hump. And this is a perfect segue into me wanting to um, bring up another person who I think is finally starting to get over that crest and get over that, what, what are we going to call that, like that random like crest or that hump in the road, that random crest that's going to push them into that next level of stuff. What up, dude? What's going on? I got you on uh, Cold Call Mondays. Oh, for sure. What's up? What's, What's up? going on? What's going on, man? <laughs> hey, so I was uh, I was just going on a rant about um, people that are being motivated and who's out there motivating you to to like break into that next level. And I saw that you just posted uh, like Sadowski welding and like fabrication yeah, yeah. and stuff. And uh, I wanted to call you and, and, and hear from you like, uh, what, do you, what do you got going on there? And like, I know you, you, know, you were doing this stuff at Hasport and you were doing stuff on your channel, but now you're like, I think it's time for Sadowski to like take it to the next level, right? So um, yeah, what's that? Much. I mean, yeah, what's that motivation and, and where, where do you see this going? Shoot, I mean, I'm hoping to take it as far as I can possibly take it. I mean, look at how, like, Sheepy Belt, for example, that dude started in the Honda scene. Now he's making, what, six figures a week doing Lambo stuff yeah. nowadays, supercar stuff. So yeah. it's like, I'm not trying to get to that level, but, I mean, the opportunity is there. So I'm just trying to seize it while I can, while I have the opportunity now and, like, the chance with my living situation, my finances and all that stuff. But, like, my motivation is just self-motivation. I see people, like, static, like, he cut his big break. I'm hoping I can do the same. And uh, as for the welding, like my whole side business thing, I mean, it's just trying to make it work. I love welding. I like building cars. So trying to find a happy medium of the mix. And so that's kind of where the page started. But And then just trying to propel my business forward or whatever. So I had to, had to make that social media page for it finally. Yeah. Trying to get that mix of social and lifestyle with my work separate. So Yeah. I mean, that was probably a smart move to like just make work stuff separate so people can just see like, see what you can do, but they don't necessarily have to follow like your builds or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it makes it easier for me to keep track of orders. Like with these DA bumper bars doing the pre-order, um, even with the 10, like I get probably five to 20 DMs a day, whether it be between welding stuff or just general questions about videos that I do or whatever. So, uh, the welding page is definitely going to be a better outlet for people to reach me directly about stuff like that. And either to keep track of, Dude, that's sick. What what were you doing? Because I saw that you did something where you had like pre-orders and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I posted the original photo. Because um, I got bored one day and I was just like, oh, I got some <laughs> material laying around. What can I make? Yeah. And uh, I uh, just pulled up Instagram. I saw Mayhem Metalworks and Nick. He's actually a buddy of mine. Uh, he's the lead fabricator of Science of Speed, and obviously Mayhem Metalworks is his business. So I saw his stuff. He was supposed to use my Integra a while back. Um, it's been about a year. I've been talking back and forth with him. I remember but that. He's yeah. just a really busy dude. So I was like, eh, I got the tools and stuff. I need to practice. Like I got the know-how for the most part. Let's give it a shot. So I, I did it, posted it up. I had like literally 40 or so inquiries, inquiries or whatever on it. And then uh, so I posted it up again. I was like, all right, well, I made some. And then the first picture kind of flopped because it was of the car and not the product. Yeah. So I posted that second picture with the bar 
because I had to make another one because I had a local guy come buy one, but he was coming from like way down south Arizona, and it was like super early in the morning. So the dude, I, I didn't have one ready, so I sold the one off of my car. So I was like, yeah, oh, perfect oh, time wow. to make another one to to advertise. So right. yeah, I did that and then posted up because I mean, I on those straw braces I was making, I, I took a quite the hit on covering material costs up front. So I was like, well, a good marketing technique is limit the numbers and then require deposits that way i'm yep. i'm not hurting and then people see limited numbers which means they kind of want to jump at it like i don't know i guess I should probably give out a little marketing secret i guess because i'm still trying to work on that myself <laughs> but no it's, it's true uh, but taking um that's that's what I, uh, I was talking about like that earlier too is taking like pre-orders is, is important because like that at least proves that you're interested, right? Because like when you're making custom fabbing parts and, and even when I was saying I was working at the shop, we'd say we're going to make something and people can blow up an interest thread all the time, right? Like just oh, all yeah. the time. But then like, hey man, I, I fronted all of this. So what's up? And then it's just yeah. <laughs> it's crickets, dude. Yeah, no, for sure, yeah, dude. So, so um, that's, that's solid. It's a good way to go. To see who is really about their money. And uh, thankfully I've already got people waiting on the next list couple people have hit me oh, up since awesome. then so i kept the list kind of small just because i mean the braces don't take me too long to make i am kind of waiting back to hear from a water jet laser shop or whatever oh, wow. on plates for me to kind of cut the production time down on my side dude that's awesome um, but yeah so i took a small order on because i mean 10 is a lot but it isn't a lot but since i'm a one-man show i don't want to have like a three-week lead time on a bumper bar just for getting real. started so figure a small batch and then move on from there but actually i got a little thing going on in the works with fast break so any, anybody that watches your channel that wants the or has a first or second gen fit they'll be getting some bars too here oh soon. sick hey dude first gen fits dude that's the one yeah that's, and, yeah that's, i mean that's, i got the, the bumper one. bar here in the back of my integra now i just gotta start uh prototyping <laughs> dude that's awesome yeah man fits dude i don't know why people sleep on fits I mean, I get why they're super slow, but when you drive them, they're real fun. Oh, they're, they're real fun. You got to just chuck them. But like, that's, that's like anything with like a D series, right? Like just get them going and then just don't use your brakes. Just yeah, it's momentum. <laughs> yeah. The toe game. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Damn, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. But yeah, dude, I was, uh, I was super stoked when I saw that. Cause I was just like, all right, cool. Here's the next step of uh of sadowski built man like it's uh yeah, i hope so I'm trying to make it work trying to do anything that doesn't have to go back to a nine to five so yeah and that was always your that was always your thing right like i mean you enjoyed your work but you always knew that like somewhere down the line you were like i gotta i gotta make this i gotta make this work my own man or this is just i'm always gonna be just not yeah, happy no, with I, I don't like doing the same thing over and over so doing my own thing and then still doing youtube on top of that just opens up a realm of like i can literally do what i want when i want i can yep. make my own schedule i can do da bars for one week i can do youtube for two weeks i can do fit stuff this week i can make a roll cage the week after that like yeah yeah and yeah, god forbid youtube goes away and... we just need to get by yeah and god forbid youtube goes away you now have a uh a legitimate business man now you have something yeah, yeah. it's like cool yeah. yeah, so hopefully uh, it gets a little bit bigger this year, and then I can actually get legitimized, get my LLC, get all the tax stuff set up, and start paying off of that, and yeah. going legit, and that's, being a good old boy about it. That's, but in hey, the meantime, man. I'm just scraping by, just making sure it all works out in the first place. That's next level shit, dude, you know? That's that's when that's when you truly hit, like, I guess I'm an adult now, uh, solidified. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, like, oh, man, there's paperwork, but everyone does it. Yeah. Everyone does it. Yeah. So. Just waiting for that point where I get up to one of those events. Like, I was talking to Robert at Hush a while back, and he was like, you know, I was always wondering when I hung out at dudes at SEMA, like, how do you know when you made it? And yeah. then I realized, like, I was already here. Like, this is making it. Like, I don't have all the money, <laughs> but, like, I'm actually here at the events. Like, my business is here, blah, blah, blah. And so I, I kind of hold dearly to, <laughs> to a lot of the stuff Robert Diaz has yep. actually told me and stuff about business and all that, what, all that jazz. Yeah, man, it's true. It's true. And then, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people don't realize when they've made it because they've been so entrenched in it for so long that they're just like, this is just life. But like, oh, yeah, you just get tunnel visioned and then you don't see the, the broad spectrum of what's yeah. going on around you. Yeah. Yeah. And then you start going to like, um, like Hush, dude, you just be going to like the track all the time and people are in your shirts, like K-series shirts and random stuff. And you're like, whoa, 
yeah. hey, that, even even just cool my feeling. shirt, you know, or or uh, or seeing a seeing a car with his front end kit, and you're just like, uh, okay, <laughs> interesting, you know, and then it starts to kind of maybe settle in, but then you're like, all right, cool, at least I get a couple people. Hopefully, I can uh, keep living my dream off just like the hype of a couple people. You know what I mean? Yeah, for real. That's sick, man. That's sick. Well, I figured I'll give you a call and just be like, yo, I like what you're doing. Props to you, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, dude. All right. All right, I'll hit you up later. All right, sounds All right. good. Talk to you later. For sure. Later, man. Bye. Yeah, cold call Mondays. Haven't done that in a while. But yeah, shout out to Chris Sadowski, man. That was a perfect segue into me thinking about like, uh, going just, you know, taking it back. Just taking it back. Like, who's out there doing something different or or better or pushing themselves that's making you raise the bar where where do you want to be you know what i mean whose footsteps are you following big or small you know and, and i really respect what sadowski's up to man you know like we all watched his videos we all watched the fact that he just wanted something more and then uh, as soon as he had that time you got to make good use of that time you know you got to make good use of that time but anyways guys i'm gonna wrap this one up just because you know i'm just whatever but i am still gonna have that podcast with neutron engines like i said so podcast is coming let me know in the comments below what things you are interested in hearing it might happen as we're watching this so there's a good chance possibly i'll be able to get those answers but if not i got a bunch of stuff up here that i'm really curious about too but definitely let those in below maybe he can answer those later also who's out there pushing the limits doing something different that you really are into and is making you push yourself whether it's automotive or in life because i'm now interested in life stuff you know let's let's push that but who's out there doing stuff cool car stuff that's making you look at your car and be like i want that put some videos down in the comments let's see them anyways guys if this is your first time watching you've made it this far hook it up hit that thumbs up Hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 6 p.m. West Coast time. I'm here in California right now. Well, I'll probably always be, you know, in this time zone because it's the best. But hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that thumbs up, that bell, all that good stuff. Head over to hauntavlogs.com. Pick yourself up a shirt, hoodie, sticker, anything you guys want to support the channel. I really appreciate all of you who are here right now in the premiere Thank you. I'll guys see you. I'll guys. I'll guys. Hey guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.